So welcome to the next video in the series where we go from QTIS beginner to intermediate. Last time we looked at vector data, but this time we'll be looking at raster data. So let's import the relevant data from last time. We made a, an outline of Alaska. There we go. So we'll work with the area around Anchorage and we'll work with transitions of land masses around Anchorage. So in this video, we'll build a virtual raster, call download some data, then we'll import some symbology and we'll finish off with a nice map. But first, let's talk about what a raster is. So raster data is pixelated or gridded data where each pixel is associated with a specific geographic location. So the value of a pixel can be continuous height, for example, or it can be categorical. So land use, land cover. So if any of this sounds familiar, it's because the data structure is very common. It's the way we represent any digital image. So a geospatial raster differs from a digital photograph in that it's accompanied by spatial information. This links the data to a specific location and includes the extent and cell size of the raster and the number of rows and columns and uh, the coordinate reference system. So let's start out by downloading the data for this area of Alaska. We're downloading data from the global surface water. Um, um, I'll put the link in the description. So when you go to the site, you can scroll down to data download and you can see you can highlight an area, a pixel, and then you can click on the transitions and it'll download for that specific area. You'll also need some uh, symbology. You'll need several of the pixels uh, and let's just download all of them for the area around Alaska. So now just drag and drop the data you've downloaded into QGIS. Okay, so now we have all the data we downloaded in our QGIS. So now we'll go to raster, miscellaneous and build virtual raster. We're going to select all our input layers. And we're going to set the resolution to average. And we're going to just save to a temporary file. This just takes a second. And now we should be able to toggle. There we go. This means we can remove all the other. So we don't have to do any analysis more than once on the virtual raster. So let's import some symbology. We've downloaded that too. So right click on the virtual raster, go to properties and go to symbology and here you can choose style and load style you you can select the transitions symbology we downloaded double click it and now we have some values along with the color and a label there's also a lot of null values and we're gonna just remove them you can highlight the first one and drag all the way down keep the no data and just Click the remove selected rows. Click apply. Let's see what it looks like. You can also add a transparency to the water. Just give double click it, give it an opacity of zero. Click apply. And now we can zoom in to Anchorage. Let's grab a background image. XYZ tile. So what are we looking at? The transition data provides information on the change in seasonality between the first and the last and last year, and captures changes between the three classes of non-water, seasonal water, and permanent water. And we can see that there are many changes and shifts. in the streams around Anchorage. So let's finish off with a map. 
last time we downloaded the layout loader plugin. So let's remove these, this one, and create a simple A4 landscape. Let's add a legend, so add item, legend, up here. And here we can move the Alaska outline, remove the take it also update. Just click these two, remove, and let's give it a better name. Transitions. Maybe we should zoom in a bit more. Click layout, export as image. Simple A4 landscape. I save it. Click save. There we go. Let's open up our image. We created a map of the area north of Anchorage with transitions, transitions in water. Thank you for watching. Uh, next time we'll finish our beginner series with a combination of the first three videos. See you next time.